just check out how cool Freaky Phil is. What's going on Halloween family? Monster Mike 816 and I'm excited for this one. This is from Killa Koala. They're almost six foot wide spider animatronic. This thing looks so cool. I've seen a couple of videos on this and man, do I want to get this out of the box right now. First thing out of the box is the body. Oh, oh man, there is a lot of pieces to this one because of all of the legs. This is a really good quality plastic. This is rated for indoor or outdoor. It's got metal framing right here in the front. All of the leg attachments there. The eyes do light up. This has a motion sensor right here on the front. And this is fuzzy, man. This is real furry on here. This thing looks really, really good. I mean, it's as big as my head and my torso. Very, very cool. It has a lot of leg pieces in here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this thing outside. I have been waiting for this one to come in. As you can see, I made this really awesome spider web area and I left this spot open right here to put freaky fill in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to get everything out of the box. Then we'll take a look at the parts and we'll put it all together. Four bags of leg pieces. There's a little bag right here with the power adapter and ground stakes. And then also the base is here in the box with this one piece of metal framing right here. It's got a push pin for the uh, connection point. This metal base right here is just as good as any base of any animatronic that I've gotten from Home Depot, Lowe's, Spirit Halloween, you name it, this thing is just as good a quality as that. The very first thing you want to do is go ahead and take this metal pole and connect it to the base. Again, it's got a push pin. Just push that in, slide that rod on there, and let that push pin pop right out. Next, we're going to go ahead and take Freaky Phil's body and head and put it right on that frame piece right there. Then you got these two rods right here. They're gonna slide right into the bottom of Freaky Phil. Forgot to mention in that bag with the power adapter and the ground stakes, there is also instructions. This has got a QR code on it. If you wanna scan that, it's got any other information you might need. I mean, this thing is pretty tall. It's above my waist. I'm about five, seven and a half on a good day. So it's above my belly button, let's say that. It's got these two front rods right here with push pins and that's gonna be for the two front legs. There's a bag of eight of these pieces right here. Of course, that is the end of the leg. Very, very cool. This is a twist lock system. There's another bag of these pieces right here. There's eight of these also. And again, another bag of these pieces and there's six of these pieces. The first part of the legs you're gonna put on is the bag with six pieces. Those are gonna go on the back six, six legs. And on the front here, you've got these two pieces that have this metal adapter with the push pin. Those are gonna be for the front legs. Very easy, you just slide it in and then give a half a turn clockwise. I can already tell this thing's gonna be very good size. Go ahead and put the pieces on for the front two legs also. If you've got a chance to get this, get it. Next up is the bag of the mid part of the legs. There's eight pieces, doesn't matter which one goes where. Again, slide it in, give it a half a turn clockwise. Just look how cool this thing is looking. Super simple to put this thing together. I just got to do the bottom part of the legs, slide it in place, put the ground stakes in there. And again, a bag of eight pieces. They're all the same. Put it in, half a turn clockwise.
this thing is so easy to put together. If you can build IKEA furniture, this is like a way scale down below that. Super, super easy. I do wish that the connection joints were push pins instead of this twist lock, but I think it's gonna hold up just fine for what it is. The front two legs actually move. This thing makes noise. The eyes light up. I'm excited for it to get dark and check this thing out. I'm gonna go ahead and get the ground stakes in here, get it plugged in and get this thing going. It's got these little ring areas on the base with four ground stakes. They slide right inside of there. This thing looks incredible. I mean, I put this right up there with the best of them and kill a koala has a bunch of animatronics that they brought out. Definitely gonna be getting more from this company. Okay, couple of issues with this thing. This piece right here is what the legs go into. Now, the one leg, so it would be the right leg on this guy was not working. And I looked up in there and I noticed that those little connection points right here they're not connected to that metal arm right there. And then I noticed that this black wire was hanging. And then I seen this little plug right here with only one wire on one side and two on the other. So the black wire must go there. Couple of issues right out of the box. I'm not liking that, but this thing does look so cool and it's such an easy fix. I'm definitely not mad about it. Okay, I found one more issue with this. On the leg that is second to the front on the right hand side of this guy, it is a little bit too wide. So right about here, which would be on the top of this, the leg that moves rubs on here. So it's putting strain on the motor. So I'm just coming through with the handle of this hammer and I'm just pushing that in right there trying to work that in so it won't rub on it. So make sure if you get this, pay attention, make sure everything's moving freely. I've had three issues now with this thing. Still loving it. It is very cool, very simple fixes. Uh, it's just a couple of quality control things that Killa Koala needs to look out for. But like I said, they're a newer company. I think they've been around a couple of years i think this year they just started putting out some really cool animatronics so gotta cut them some slack and this thing looks amazing so i'm just gonna keep pushing that in and then that should take care of everything everything is together and working great now couple hiccups but you can see the front legs are moving the eyes are working i don't hear any binding on anything I gotta say this thing just looks amazing if you're gonna do a spider web area, even if you don't do a spider web area, if you just want a spider for Halloween decorations, that thing is so cool. But just look how cool it is with these spider webs. This is that beef netting. I just ordered a 50 foot roll and made it up, hung it. And this thing is looking very cool. I'm gonna go ahead, turn the sound on and we'll check it, it out. It gets very loud. It's got volume control. It's extremely loud. You can go all the way down, all the way to this. This is all the way up. It's got a dude screaming in the background, probably getting wrapped up. Just like that guy. I just really like this thing. Oh yeah, this thing is so cool. Gonna wait for it to get dark and we'll check it out with everything all lit up. The eyes are standing out great. It's kind of hard to see those arms move. The camera is definitely picking up better than actually being here. So I'm gonna move a light in front of them and see how that looks, but it is so cool. All right, I've got the light in front of Freaky Phil now and I think this is much better. This thing is just such a cool addition. I mean, uh, there's not enough good things I can say about this. Even with the few little flaws, it is just such a cool addition. I mean, if you are a Halloween decorator, you gotta get a spider if you're making some cool spider webs. Even if you don't have webs, a spider fits right in to Halloween and kill a koala 
really hit the nail on the head with this one. Absolutely loving this. This thing is large. It looks great. I love the animation. I will say that that animation just goes and goes and goes. Mine never stops. Yeah, the legs actually keep moving. So I think the motion sensor picks it back up and it just keeps going right through. But works for me. I'm just gonna have it on anyway while people walk through here. So very, very cool. Absolutely love this one. Definitely recommend it. Go ahead and check this one out. If you can't get it before this Halloween, order it and have it ready for next Halloween. It is a great price and an awesome addition. Appreciate everybody watching Monster Mike 816, and I'll catch you on the next one.